everybody Ann here sitting out on my front porch having my coffee with all of you just like in the olden days it's probably around 40 degrees but it is so sunny and it rained all night last night it was pretty awesome so I'll show you what it looks like on my property a little bit later a lot of the snow has melted thank goodness and I've noticed that there's a few plants that survive which surprised me anyway so today I've got to I've got to pickle some eggs and so I am going to show you how I have found it works best to pickle eggs especially if they're fresh eggs out of the chickens butt. so we're gonna do the whiskey pickled egg thing today actually I have some old brine so I'm just gonna give you the recipe um, what I put in it and uh, let you see if you want to try it yourself but anyhow yeah let's get going on the pickled eggs and then we'll <laughs> we'll move forward after that I've tried boiling eggs in several different ways, but today I put them down into the pot, poured cold water over the top of them, covered them by about an inch, and I'm going to bring them to a boil. Once they've come to a boil, I'm going to turn off the heat, then I'm going to cover them with a lid and let them sit there in the pot for about 10 minutes. Once that 10 minutes is up, I'm going to remove them from the hot water and put them in freezing cold water, and I've got plenty of that right now. Yep, just put them all in there. And I'll use the leftover hot water to clean some dishes. <laughs> what is going on over there in that coop? <laughs> What's going on, Romeo? Well, we know one hen is not going to be laying. I don't know, maybe she will later. Let's go see what's going on. <laughs> Alright, Fancy Pants is making all the noise. Let's see what's going on back there. Coco and Roxy are over there. <laughs> what's that? I bet you I bet you we got at least one leghorn back here in this nesting box. Yes we do. <laughs> Fancy pants is getting impatient. Alright girls, do your thing. It's noisy, but it's music to my ears because I know I'm going to have plenty of fresh eggs today. Yep, I already got one and hopefully the rest of them will lay down in that lower box because the top one gets kind of dirty. So anyway, yeah, let's go inside, brush my hair, and see if those eggs are cooled off yet. They're totally cool now, so I'm going to remove them from the water and start peeling them. And yes, I did have some problems. I got to tell you guys, I'm still having the issues with the the egg white binding to the shell you see but they were boiled perfectly but a lot of them came off that's no problem though because the chickens absolutely love eggshells and they love eggs I chopped them up real small so they wouldn't recognize them as eggs but oops looks like we're missing one here oh yep Miss Pris is trying to lay an egg so I'll save her a little dish for later all hens are out now yep there's Miss Pris so I'm gonna take her a little bit of food over here these leghorns will not let the other ones eat, so it makes me a little bit mad. So here you go, Miss Pris. Eat. I'm gonna probably shoo away the others if they start being mean. Yeah, she's getting some. There's Coco, Miss Pris, and Romeo. You can see quite a big bit of the egg came off of the shell. I don't know, I'm just gonna have to figure that out. Since all the hens are out, I imagine, I've got some eggs in here, so let's check it out. Oh yeah, oh my goodness, look at that gargantuan egg. Oh, another one, it's gotta be a double yoker. She just laid this, look at how big. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm just gonna get these all out. Just look at the contrast in size, you guys. That's crazy, so we got uh, all three leghorns laid today and two of the brown egg layers, but that's okay. Yesterday, all three of the brown egg laying hens laid, so I'm very happy. And into the basket they go. I just love this egg basket. It is just so adorable. Yep, some of them look kind of dirty, but that's okay. Look at that big honking egg. Can you believe that, you guys? And here are these beautiful, well, they may not be so beautiful because I kind of mangled them, peeling them and whatnot, but very tasty, delicious eggs. And like I told you, I used the brine from the last batch. So I'm just gonna kind of tip it over a little bit. You can see all the red peppers in there. 
and it'll be cloudy at first, but it'll calm down. But these things are absolutely delicious. The last dozen I made, oh, they went so fast. It was just ridiculous. So I am going to give you the recipe for these tasty eggs. Whiskey, honey, pickled eggs. I don't know what I'm going to call them yet. I will put the recipe in the recipe book when I get around to updating it. But these are delicious, you guys. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and call these honey whiskey pickled eggs. And here are the ingredients. One dozen boiled eggs, one half cup water, three quarter cup whiskey, one half cup honey, one half cup water, one and a half cup vinegar, one teaspoon minced garlic, one teaspoon minced onion, one and a half tablespoon non-iodized salt, one teaspoon hot pepper flakes, one teaspoon mustard seed, and one quart jar. Put all the ingredients except the eggs into a pot and bring to a soft boil. Turn off heat, then go peel your eggs. Put the eggs into a clean quart jar, then pour the brine into the jar over the eggs, making sure to include plenty of the seasonings. Put the lid on the jar and let sit in a cool, sort of dark place for at least 48 hours, but the flavor is best after at least a week. Enjoy! I promise you, you guys, those eggs are delicious. I hope you give them a try, and if you make them, let me know, and let me know how they turned out. Well, i got to go outside and look around. There's some stuff that I thought was going to be totally dead, but it is not totally dead. See that, you guys? Those are the garlic chives that I planted down in here. I have snipped them off, and they keep trying to come back even after it snowed. All these other herbs that are supposed to come back, I just covered it up with some leaves. I don't know if they'll actually come back, but we will see. Yep, the chives that I planted over here are also still alive. I can't believe it. Oh, yeah. And there's some more over here. I went and got a bunch from Mr. Lucas Yard. Dug them up. They're, they are still trying to grow. They're still green. Unbelievable. I don't know if you can see it. This might be hard to see, but there's more chives down in there. This is one of the original buckets that I planted. And they are starting to come back up. Let's see what's in this bucket. I don't even remember. What did I put in here? Oh, peppermint, I think. Yes, you can see a little bit of peppermint still trying to come through. I uh, cut it all the way down to the, to the soil. And look, we've still got a few pieces that are growing. Hopefully, hopefully those will come back. What do we got over here? Um, I think these are walking onions. Yes, look at little green trying to poke through. Oh, goodness. That's awesome. Yep, another bucket of chives that are still basically growing. I can't believe it. And then I think these are more of those walking onions, too. Let's see if we've got... Yep, yep. In fact, they're multiplying. I can't believe this, you guys. So I'm just going to keep those covered up. And hopefully, we'll have more onions once the spring comes around. You know, the question that I have is, why is it that when I'm sitting on my porch with this camera, it makes it all orangey? I don't know why. It's weird. Anyhow, so I got the eggs done. I have to go do some stuff with the compost bin. Um, I may even go over and get some more pine shavings from Mr. Lucas Yard. I may let it defrost one more day though because they're all still pretty fresh. I mean pretty wet. Um, so I may wait till tomorrow to do that. Day after tomorrow, Papa goes in to get his testing to hopefully start his heartworm treatment. And I know that I've got one thing waiting at the post office. I don't know that I'll go to the post office today. I might, I might not. Um, if I do, then whatever is there, I will show you in the next video or maybe the one after because I think that I've got several packages that are coming, but were delayed because of the weather. So there's going to be a big Prezi thingy in a day or two or three, however many days. Um, I don't know that there's anything else I got for you today. It's just been a great day, but when the sun starts going down, it does start getting really, really chilly. Anyhow, well, I'm going to let you all go. That's all I got for you today. See you in the next video.
for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.